Number eight. During the Viking landings on Mars, the atmospheric pressure was determined to be on the average about 6.50 millibars, and one bar equals 0.987 atm. What is the pressure in Tor and kilopascals? Okay, so in this case, they gave us a number that we have to convert. They told us that, you know, on this Mars landing, the pressure was 6.5 millibars, and we just need to convert this into Tor and kilopascals. So I guess let's work with Tor first. So we have 6.5 millibars, maybe I'll say M bar, right? Usually lowercase m is milli, and we need to go to Tor. Okay, so we've done tons of conversions, right? All we're going to do is just times by ratios and then just keep going until we get the unit that we want. But here, they give us a piece of information to get from bar to ATM. And then I listed all of the useful conversions that we can use. But the thing is, is that they gave it to us in bar, but we have millibar. So how do I go from a millibar to just a bar? That's going back to our normal SI units of what milli is, right? If you have, and maybe I'll drop it down here, if you have millibar and you need to go to just a bar or anything that's starting with milli and then ending with just the base unit, so like milligram to gram, milliliter to liter, you know, millisecond to second, all you have to do is just divide by a thousand. So that's what we're gonna be doing here, 6.50 divided by 1,000, and now I'm in bars. So we could basically say this is 6.5 times 10 to the negative third, right? Okay, so now I'm ready to start my conversion. I have 6.50 times 10 to the negative third, and now I'm in bars. Now I can use this conversion, right? So times by the ratio, throw the unit you don't want on the bottom. Since I don't want bar anymore, that goes on the bottom. And they're telling me that I have a conversion between bar and ATM. Okay, so they tell me one bar, so the one goes with the bar, is equal to 0 0.987 ATM. And the bars cancel out. And now I'm left with ATM. So I'm not done yet, right? I have to figure it out in Tor and kilopascals. So let's do the Tor first. And that's what we said we were going to do, right? So we just keep going. Don't be afraid. Just keep running with the, uh, the uh, dimensional analysis. Throw the unit that you don't want on the opposite side. So ATM goes on the bottom. And now I want to go to Tor. So Tor goes up on the top. Now, use all of your units that, you know, you probably have to memorize to put the values in here. I want to go from ATM to Tor. So all you have to do is just use these two. For every one ATM, there's 760 Tor. So for every one ATM, there's 760 Tor. ATM cancels out. And now we're left with the unit that we want, which is Tor. So let's do it. All the denominators are one, so I don't even have to worry about that. So I'm just going to multiply straight through. 6.5 times 10 to the negative third times 0.897 and then times 760. Three sig figs because our first answer or the number that they gave us had three sig figs. Remember, all of our conversion factors have nothing to do with significant uh, figures. Always go by what they gave you. So this would be 4.88, and that's Tor. Okay, now we just got to do it again for the kilopascals. Now, I would just start from the beginning again. So I'll take it from the 6.50 times 10 to the negative third bar. And now kilopascal is down here, right? And it's has a relationship with ATM. You can use these two because they're all equal to each other. But I got to get to ATM again, so I have to use the same conversion. So times by the ratio, bar goes now on the bottom because it's on the opposite side. ATM goes up on the top. 
right? And this is the conversion between bar and ATM, just like it was before. 0 0.987 equals 1 bar. Cancel out the bar. You're at ATM. Now let's go to kilopascal. So times by the ratio. ATM now goes on the bottom because I don't want that unit. And now kilopascals goes up on the top. Take the numbers that are in your conversion factor that you know now. So for every one ATM, so one goes on the bottom, there's 101.325 kilopascals. 101.325. ATM cancels out. And you're left with the unit of kilopascal. So let's just do the math again. So 6.5 times 10 to the negative third times 0.8987 times 101.325. We still need three sig figs. So this would be 0 0.650 kilopascals. And just know that all three of these different pressure units are equivalent to each other. So 4.88 Tor is the same as 0 0.650 kilopascal, which is the same as 6.5 times 10 to the negative 3 bar, and it's the same as 6.5 millibar. So it's just basically expressing the same amount of pressure just in different units. That's all we're doing here. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. Tell your friends, tell your classmates. We won't mind, all right? Um, thank you so much. We appreciate all you guys, and let's keep rocking and rolling. Let's keep working hard, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.